Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Following on the last episode, where we talked about how eternal people are still able to interact with time, I thought it would be a good idea to deal with a related subject. Do the saints experience eternity in the same way that God does? But of this one thing, be not ignorant, my beloved, that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. 2 Peter 3.8 God doesn't see time in successive moments as we do here on earth. The question is, do the angels and saints see time in the way that we do, or the way that God does? There are good arguments for each position. The angels and saints are still created beings and still have things revealed to them, which would seem to imply some kind of succession. However, being changeless would seem to imply that they have some ability to interact with time from without, instead of being swept along it in one direction as we are. One theory that I think works well is that the angels and saints are able to interact with various points of time, but can perceive those points individually, like a telescope focusing in on one star in the sky. The classical notion of the state in which the angels and saints exist was to propose something called the Avum, or Aveternity, a successive state of being which had no end, but did have a beginning, and which existed parallel to time. I think that theory is probably one of the most likely. In any case, if we want to answer the question of whether the saints experience eternity in the same way that God does, we don't really need to worry about how they perceive time. There is one thing about God that proves that his experience of eternity is different. Unlike everyone else, God is self-sufficient and doesn't require a cause. In addition to having no end, he also has no beginning. No matter what state the angels and saints exist in, they definitely do have a beginning, and nothing will ever change that. That's how we know that the experience of eternity is different for God than for the saints. Next time, are there any good reasons to be afraid of heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.